iOS 17 just released to everyone, and of course with that is the annual question of should you update. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly why it's a great idea to hit that download and install button. Anyways, let's waste no extra time and get straight into the video. So overall performance has been great. I've noticed absolutely no decrease in the tasks that I do every day while on iOS 17 compared to iOS 16. Now, in some cases, iOS 17 is ever so slightly faster, but it's not enough and could be passed as placebo. Now, with that said, I'm going to go ahead here and run a Geekbench, and we'll take a look at the results at right after. All right, and the results are in. So as you can see here, iOS 17's results are about identical to that of iOS 16. No discernible difference at all. Now iOS 17's animations on the other hand are so much better than before. Now with new animations throughout the system, iOS 17 just looks like fresh butter. And what about the existing animations, right? Well, good news there as well. The iOS 16 stutters were real, but I am thrilled to report that iOS 17 has seemingly fixed every stutter issue I had in previous iOS releases. And of course, last but not least, the RAM management on iOS 17 has been roughly the exact same with I or as iOS 16 with zero discernible difference in day-to-day -day use. And now that's not particularly a bad thing as I didn't have any major issues with iOS 16's app management, but it has not changed in iOS 17. So if you are experiencing issues, there's a chance that it will be no different. And what you've all probably been waiting for, the battery life. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, the battery life has not been excellent by any means on iOS 17. Not just throughout the beta process, but even in the public release, it just has not been great for me. Now, it hasn't been abysmal, and we've seen way worse in the past. Um, personally, I'm getting about six to six and a half hours of on-screen time with iOS 17, um, where with iOS 16, I could be pushing usually like up to eight hours in a day. Now, this is definitely something to consider, especially if you are somebody who needs every ounce of battery life that you can get. And now as for the heating issues, of course, we have to talk about this too. I have been actually extremely impressed with iOS 17 so far. With iOS 16, I'd noticed my phone starting to get fairly hot to the touch, sometimes even when I'm not doing anything. However, iOS 17 has been so much better and I haven't noticed really the phone getting hot at all anymore. Uh, and it doesn't ever get warm when I'm not using it. So a huge, huge, huge improvement there. iOS 17 is arguably pretty tame on features, but it is packing with bug fixes. Now, just like iOS 12. iOS 17 has been the most stable release of iOS for me since iOS 14, which was very stable. Now, it fixes pretty much all of iOS 16's major issues, with the exception of two. And the first one is the notification center glitch, where the first one is the occasional squared notifications, but that is currently not happening. And the second one is the really jumpy, incorrect animations when swiping up to view your notification center. For some reason, neither of these issues have been fixed by Apple, and they still continue to this day in the iOS 17 public release. Now the next issue that I've been having for quite some time now, since about iOS 16.1, is when swiping down to enter the control center, you can see that the home controls, they just flash. And it's not that big of a deal, but for some reason, they just flash. And it's really, really, really annoying. And you can see here, even when like long pressing on any of the platters here, you can see that they have the same behavior. I'm not sure why this is happening. To me, it almost seems like they're refreshing, but this is not an issue for me on iPadOS, so I don't know what the issue could be. Either way, these aren't major issues, and they don't really impact day-to-day -day use, but they are quite annoying. Other than that, iOS 17 has been nearly flawless for me. iOS 16 sucks. And iOS 17 makes that very clear. With its stability, reliability, and lack of bugs compared to iOS 16, it makes for one fantastic update. So of course, I will recommend nothing other than that you update all of your devices to this latest release. 
Now, of course, if you did find this video enjoyable or helpful in any way, shape, or form and would like to see more in the future, make sure to let me know with a thumbs up down below. And while you're down there, of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications enabled so you're always up to date on the latest iOS releases. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.